Ireland here today um, for three purposes. Firstly, to meet the PSNI officers who've been on the front line during this disorder. Many of them have been injured. And my purpose was to say to them, thank you for what they have done. We make big asks of them. They step up and they deserve our thanks. I've also had the chance to speak to the PSNI senior leadership about the challenges that they face and the support that they need. And then third and very importantly, to speak to some of the communities most impacted about the fear uh, that they have, the anxiety that they have about the risk of disorder. The disorder is intolerable. It is incapable of justification. It's clearly racist. And it does not represent the modern, forward-looking Northern Ireland that I know that this place is. So I'm very pleased to achieve all those three things today and to work with all communities, to work with the PSNI and others to ensure that we have the situation, not just the immediate disorder, but also the longer term work that's necessary to ensure that we have that one Northern Ireland approach that I know represents the Northern Ireland, uh, uh, modern Northern Ireland. Um... Now, Chris, a lot of people will be looking at that and they were saying all along that Sir Keir Starmer may have read the room wrong by branding all of the protesters as racist or far right or thugs. Is that time to think on that? Is that time to reflect on that? There's been a popularity backlash today in Northern Ireland. He's saying the same thing. He's still saying these protests were clearly racist. Well, that's, that's strong. Clearly racist is stronger than saying far right. Um, towards the end, he did there talk about having one Northern Ireland bringing communities together. And I think we're yet to see that properly in, in the riots we saw in England in, in those dozen or so towns and cities earlier this month. I mean, and the big concern now is, is attacking anybody concerned about immigration, saying they're clearly racist. I think he's only appending that to the rioters. But certainly there's work to be done to understand why there's concern about immigration and, and to recognise that isn't necessarily a far right or racist position to take.